Hi, I'm Noshad Rehman, founder of Delta V Robotics. Hi, I'm Neha Agarwala, co-founder of Delta V Robotics. Today, we are going to present our presentation on SetPass tool for system engineering to digital prototyping to a digital twin. So uh, I'd like my colleague Neha Agarwala to present a presentation. Thank you, Noshad. Let me walk you through the presentation of SetPass tool for system engineering to digital prototyping to digital twin. Let us start with the current situation of small satellite. The small satellite industry is growing exponentially and it is used in several kinds of missions. It has various benefits such as it is cost effective, it has low cost, agility, resilient, fast manufacturing and diverse range of people are involved starting from students to professionals to agencies. But still these small satellites are not used for any crucial applications where chance of failure is unacceptable due to high unreliability. This hurdle can be solved by increasing the reliability of the small satellite. What is the mission of Delta V Robotics? Firstly, Delta V Robotics is a software technology company. We are building a platform targeted to a very niche industry that is the small satellite industry. DVR mission is to increase the reliability of the small satellite industry so that this small satellite can be used to those missions where significant risks of failure in, is unacceptable. Basically, DVR is trying to create a, uh, connections between the small satellite industry and to the niche applications where small satellite can be used without any hurdle. How can reliability be increased? We have done various studies and research, read various research papers, conducted interviews to various professors, commercial clients, and everybody. And based on that, we try to uh, try to summarize it into five important points. The first point being, follow the guidelines during the designing and development of the satellite similar to what GeoSatellite does while maintaining the agility. Second, learning from previous missions. Whether your small satellite's previous mission was a success or a failure, every learning is important and that knowledge has to be retained. Model-based design approach during the entire mission. Detailed knowledge about every component and systems while maintaining the time constraint. And enabling the mission operator with simplified information that will help them to do operations, diagnosis, monitoring and condition-based maintenance without any problems. Now, DVR is a cloud-based software dedicated to the satellite industry with the view, vision to make satellite industry more accessible. And this is possible only if the new space industry has more information which can help them to be agile and adapt fast with the requirement. The SETPAS aim is to increase the reliability of small satellite by making a model-based design adaptable and help easy transition to digital twin. Our core objective is to make our software which is intuitive, that is easy to start with while managing all the complexity at the back end. SETPAS comprises of three modules, system engineering management, digital prototyping and simulations, and digital twin. Now, discussing about the entire modules will be done by Naushad. Thank you, Nia. Uh, let me walk you through each and every module in detail. First, I'd like to explain you about digital twin since it is our core our main vision. Gartner defines a digital twin as a dynamic software model for physical things or system that relies on sensor data to understand the state, response of change, improve operation and add value, a combination of metadata, event data and analytics. Creating a digital twin is a journey from your system engineering to digital prototype and simulation. Without this uh, groundwork, it's very impossible to create a digital twin. So the first step for our, our digital twin is system engineering. Let me explain you how SetPass help you to uh, in a system engineering management. SetPass takes a top-down approach by breaking a high-level requirement into a smaller requirement using three methods: that is, flow down, allocation, and derivation. The requirement is displayed in a hierarchical pattern for ease and quick readability. Here you can see a mission is in a uh, top and the parts like a magnetometers are the root. So since, and there is flow of data from your top, um, top node to bottom node. So any discrepancy in the flow data or, or allocation error is triggered. For example, if a user say the total mass of ADCS should be a 
less than or equal to 200 gram that means that all its child nodes should have some of the mass lesser than 200 if it doesn't satisfy this constraint then error will be thrown Setpass helps in a concurrent designing since members from a different domain can come in one platform and can contribute and the data is flowing smoothly between each component. Setpass maintains a version of your each and every requirement which shows the journey of the mission requirements. Setpass manage, uh, uh, in Setpass in set you can add a node by clicking on your add in set pass, you can create a, a nodes in set pass, you can create an, a child node and to add a child node click on your plus icon a pop-up will appear with a list of component based on a parent node for example in this sensor is a parent node and the sub uh, child node will be the uh, your sensor like sun sensor accelerometer basically every stage is predefined and well guided to help the user to start quickly requirement should be traceable and very uh, verifiable to to uh, make it much more traceable and verifiable functional requirement and operational requirement is added and to make it make verification verifiable uh, verification method has to be added so to add an operational functional or operational requirement click on i icon a pop-up will come so you can add a functional requirement functional requirement is generated descriptive in nature so you can write a, a description about your functional requirement whereas operation requirement is much more uh, in depth so you have to uh, write in the value and number and the, the requirement and its verification is connected with a simulation. Verification checks runs in the background when a parameter updates. If verification fails, auto uh, error report is generated. This keeps requirement module in sync and this also has to detect the impact of cross domain like change in mechanical properties like mass moment of inertia by changing any mechanical values how it impact to your on your adcs so now let me walk you through the digital prototyping and simulation module of setpass setpass provide the workspace where user can add satellite subsystem control estimator algorithm and connect them to create a satellite digital prototype Setpass has pre-built model of satellite subsystem control estimator algorithm, which helps user to kickstart the mission in a zero time. The requirement added in system engineering module flows automatically here for a simulation. Simulation can be done for a satellite orbit and its environment, subsystem and its component. Visualization can be done both in 3D as well as in 2D. User can perform various analysis, like a power budget analysis, mission optimization, etc. Even you can add your own analysis algorithm here. Setpass help you in the software in loop testing. Setpass allow a drag and drop of block for configuring a simulation, which makes a usability very intuitive. Setpass allow the user to add their own models in a simulation in a various programming languages such as C, C++, Python. User can write the stateful code, whereas other programming languages doesn't uh, support this. And connection between two blocks is only allowed if the port, input port and output port has the same unit, frame, and size, which uh, removes all the ambiguity regarding your units or frame. Model in simulation should match your functional and operational requirement else error report will be generated keep the this helps you to keep the real requirement component and simulation in sync for example if your size of your component is greater than what you have already suggested in your requirement then an error report will be generated now let's come to the 
digital twin since we have already since the set pass has helped you in the system engineering digital prototyping now we can uh, uh, move to the our next module that is digital twin digital twin let me reiterate digital twin is basically up to date digital representation of your satellite if you if uh, your satellite is degrading your digital mode also degraded you can find the application of digital twin like you can use it for a test phase during your design uh, phase you can use it even for your prediction maintenance fault diagnosis and health monitoring let me explain how digital twin works a satellite digital prototype is required user can use satpass to create your digital prototype telemetry data from your satellite is required that real time data from your sensors are required and third digital twin algorithm like prediction fault diagnosis etc which is inbuilt in satpass is uh, is a input uh, is a input uh, of your telemetry data and and the in, uh, the virtual model will also provide a simulated data to your digital twin algorithm so your digital uh, twin algorithm provides a updated parameter to your virtual model so that now your virtual model and your real model is in sync so what are the key takeaway from this uh, presentation satpass is dedicated to increase the reliability of small satellite industry through its robust and smart platform Satpass system engineering model help you to stick with the guidelines to design and develop while maintaining the agility. Satpass help you to retain your assets such as model documents in an organized manner. The digital twin of your previous mission gives you insight about your design, manufacturing, and operation process. Satpass has a strong adherence with the model based designing. it helps the smooth implementation of model based designing and effortless transition to a digital twin satpass digital prototyping module help you to do a simulation quickly of a various component and their impact on another component even without writing a single line of code this help you to have a detailed information in a short period of time digital twin enable a mission operator with a predictive perspective analysis and a predefined strategy which provide the important and helpful insight for the for operation so thank you so i like to uh, call my colleague neha uh, okay we have attached with the presentation a review form uh, it's a basically a google doc form so that you can review our software and provide us the details please uh, provide us with a review and thank you for your support thank you thank you